I am Nathan Kinsella from Inquire.net. I've worked with Inquire since 2018. My responsibility is really to help grow the revenue for direct sales, for programmatic, for even different types of revenue opportunities that may exist. My job is to try and help the company increase that, that top line revenue. So I work with a lot of the, the different departments and it's been, it's been a good experience so far. Can you share a bit of Inquire.net's history? Right. Philippine Daily Inquirer is a large broadsheet here in the Philippines. And in 1997, they wanted to take it online, whatever that meant back in 97, because the hope was to try and reach the Filipino also outside of the country. As we know, the, the overseas Filipino is you know, 10, 15 million strong all over the world. The aim was to try and reach them and bring them some of the news of back home to try and help connect with the with the overseas Filipino. So there was a couple of different iterations of that original site, even a partnership with GMA, which was INQ7, Net. But that only lasted for a little while because then they wanted to take their own new site online. And then Inquire.net really just became its own entity. What are some notable achievements of Inquire.net so far? Something we're quite proud of, and that's our brand room department. Multiple award, more awards have been won by that department. They're very creative in, in coming up with creative executions, creative content and really helping brands you know reach their objective certainly one of the highlights and it's one of the things that we're certainly most proud of because that was our creativity right leveraging our brand but it was really our team's create creativity that was able to, to pull off those executions when did the shift from traditional media to digital happen well that's always been the focus with with inquire.net i think that that was the reason why it was taken online in part to connect but also to, to try and understand better what this new web meant for media. Inquire is really cool in the sense that we're first in a lot of a lot of things, right? We're the first company to do Facebook instant articles in the country. We're the first to run a Google's AMP program. We're often the first that ad networks and others will come to to kind of prove out their models within the Philippine market. So we're quite proud of that. And that sort of history of innovation, I think, is still part of our, I, I hate to use the word DNA, but it's still very much part of how we operate even, even now. We're, we always look for what's new, what's coming next. Not just happy to sit on and rest on our accomplishments and our brand and everything else. So how did you adapt to the new normal? We had to make a decision in March and April what we were going to do with 2020 because obviously our revenues dropped significantly. And every time we talk to somebody, all they wanted to do is talk about COVID, but we're still running a business. We need to talk to all of our partners. We had many conversations with, with you guys, with the entity, but we spoke to everybody and we said, please, let's not talk about COVID. We all know it, it exists. We all know it's impacting our business. Let's talk about what we're gonna do about it, how we're gonna pivot, what we're going to do. And so our leadership under Paolo and, and, and Imi, our president and our uh, COO, they were really firm with us that, hey, it's happening, but also we've got to get on with our business. So let's go find the advertisers, let's go find the networks, and let's find those who are ready to dig in and get to work because it's going to take a lot of creativity. We're very proud of the year that we had. I'd say from May onwards, we picked it up really, really well. And our leadership in the company was very good about it, very sensitive to everybody's needs and, and very aware of what was going on, but also did a very good job rallying the troop, getting us moving forward. Our direct sales team picked up the pace really well in May and they were just like, look, let's just get back on with it. So they found the advertisers and, and they found the campaigns and it really inspired the rest of the company to sort of like, what's our excuse? <laughs> With everyone now online, how do you stand out as a marketer? Last year, our largest growth was from young people. That age demographic was the largest growth on our site. So what we've done in relationship to that is we recently acquired some brands that were owned by one of our sister companies in the Hinge Group. They're very small, but they're very loyal group of uh, readers on those publications. They're very socially aware, but it's a good niche we're working hard to make sure that we have a range of content across inquire.net to appeal to as many different groups as we possibly can that still sticks within our court at inquire.net. You know, we see this young user growth and think, okay, how to retain them, right? How to, how to actually keep them and build them as long-term followers, not just for news, but for lifestyle, 
for entertainment, for other parts of their life? How do we keep them? Because it is incredibly challenging to, to keep users. There's so many choices, right? So that's one of the things that we're doing this year. From an advertiser, you have to really think about those users and you have to be creative with your advertising. That's why we try to incorporate social with rich media and do different things of that nature to try and draw their attention because if their attention's on TikTok, well, let's figure out a way to incorporate TikTok videos in an ad execution. So trying to find new ways to incorporate where people's attention is being held and bring it back to us as a publisher. What are some initiatives you've incorporated in 2020 or last year that you'll sustain this 2021? We were going to lower the number of ad networks and ad and advertising partners that we were going to work with. And so we narrowed it down to really a short list. Entity, of course, you guys made the list <laughs> because you're very unique to me. And I, I've known you guys for a while and you're very, very unique in Southeast Asia. Matter of fact, I often thought for years about why there's not more of you, especially in the Philippines. I was really, really glad to meet GJ and, and the rest years ago and see what you were doing, what you were building, because I've known for years that you should exist in, in this market, especially. And people have come and tried and, and not done so well. So I was really glad that, that you guys have done it. You bring really unique deals that, that only someone on the ground here could have pulled off. I was super impressed with presentations that were made to us early during the pandemic here in the Philippines. So when we went out and reached out to all the partners and said, what are you going to do about this, right? Like, what's your reaction as a, as a network partner? Well, how are you gonna respond to this? And the presentations were made to us like, wow, Entity's definitely got their thinking caps on. That was good to see, we needed that. We were all looking for some inspiration. We were looking for some bright light. We were looking at some, at some critical thinking. You guys provided some of that, it's really quite good. It was, I remember the presentation very, very well. But we just said, look, there's just too many. And we just pared it down. And we said, we're gonna focus on these partners and we're gonna get the most out of each of those partners that we possibly can. We wanna maximize the revenue opportunities with those partners. So we're gonna bring on less partners and we're gonna generate more revenue. And that's exactly what happened. And I think that allowed us to focus and spend more time with each partner to better understand what it is that they were looking for from us as a publisher, looking for ways to maximize revenue opportunities with each of those partners. And that's really helped us. So we're not spread out too much dealing with too many different partners. I think that's been a real big help. That's one of the things we've done that we'll continue to do in 2021. What are some of the key highlights of Inity and Inquire.net's partnership? First of all, I appreciate the access that we have to the team. And I'll just say it in comparison to other very, very large ad networks who basically have just outsourced their Southeast Asia operations to third parties. So there's a big difference than working with a U.S. company, a big partner, and then they want you to work with their APAC office and then you find out it's just outsourced services anyways. It's different to get on the phone, to speak to somebody here in the Philippines and to talk to them about our business and about the opportunities. That's a big, big deal to us. Entity also provides an ad network in Southeast Asia and particularly for our interest in the Philippines. So the campaigns are brands that we know, the brands that our readers know, and it's very well suited for our market. I think the team appreciates the responsiveness that Entity's team is with us. It's very, very quick and it's, it's really connected with, with us and our market. We really appreciate the Entity team and the access that we have. What are three words that come to your mind when you hear Entity? Local. I definitely think of you as local. I think access and I think creativity with your ads. Your ad units are really, they're really good. <laughs> they're they're really good. They're really good executions. I like that stuff. I love those rich media ads. And I think that they're different. They're very unique and they really stand out. I don't even ask when I see them. I know whose ad it is. <laughs> or if Paolo asks, who's running this ad? Who's our, and I'm like, I already know. I didn't check it, but I already know whose it is. Your work has a signature. Credit to your design team and to your staff. I think it's almost become part of your brand, at least for me. I identify your ad and your executions as, as your brand as well. It just screams entity when I see it. <laughs> I know it's yours. I am Nathan Kinsella from Inquire.net, and we are Entity Philippines Featured Publisher of the Month.